We're going to review something we looked back that we looked at back in MM1, which was um, errors in measurement and accuracy in measurement. So you've actually seen this before, so that's why I'm going to go through it somewhat quickly, but it's worth reviewing because it's been a while. When you're talking about this idea of accuracy, right, um, the phrase I want you to remember bless is you. that, it, bless you, a given measure is accurate to, okay, now if I have, for example, and bring with me. If I have a meter rule, right, and it's got one centimeter blocks, what would you say is the accuracy of that meter rule? You'd go a half a centimeter, right? Because if you're measuring something and it's not quite on the dot, you can generally say it's closer to one or the other, right? So we would say it's accurate to plus or minus a half of the smallest division, which in the case I just mentioned, was a centimeter, okay? If you've got something which is measuring to the meter or to the foot or whatever, then you're gonna get plus or minus a half of a meter or a foot or whatever. Uh, it could be degrees, like uh, rotation, it could be degrees on a thermometer, whatever unit that happens to be. You're just looking for the smallest division, okay? Now what's nice about this is that when you look at something like this, maybe you wanna just jot this down, okay? This is actually question eight from the exercise you're about to start, which is why I haven't assigned question eight. You can know, even without seeing the measuring instrument, you can know what the level of accuracy was by looking at the measurements that have been provided to you, okay? So when you look at these, what was used to measure this? What was the accuracy for it? It's gonna be by the centimeter, right? Uh, it clearly can't be like the, the meter, something like that, this would be too inaccurate to do this. Um, and if they had it to the millimeter, you'd have some decimal points going up there, so that's fine, okay? So for starters, let's work out what is the volume of this solid just as measured, okay? It's a nice, easy rectangular prism, so what am I gonna do with these numbers? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna multiply all together, aren't I? So I'm gonna go 75, 122, 53. Okay, can I have a number, anyone? 48495. 48495? Yeah, 50. 50. And that's cubic centimeters, yeah? Pretty big number, but that's because these are pretty big numbers and we're multiplying them together. So that's fine, okay? Now, we know though that because it's not necessarily perfectly accurate, the real volume might be smaller or it might be bigger, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lower bounds and we're gonna work out the volume based on if these were actually not the exact, but like what if they were smaller than that, right? So this one over here, 75. The smallest it could possibly be if it's half a unit is gonna be 74.5, right? In exactly the same way, the 122 could have been 121.5. And the last one could have been 52.5, okay? So it's only half a centimeter difference. What kind, of, um, what kind of difference will it result in the volume? Well, again, you turn to your calculator, and um, we're going to get something with decimal places, aren't we? What do we got? 475. 47, sorry? 475216. 216.875. Okay, now let's have a look. How much of a difference is that? Um, well, this is 484,000 cubic centimeters. So the difference is like 10,000 cubic centimeters. That's a fair difference, right? And that's because even though there's only a little bit of a difference, we multiply it by itself three times. So it gets bigger and bigger and bigger every time, okay? That's the smallest the vo volume possibly could be. Where am I gonna go now? Uh, what if it was higher? Okay, so you get this. Higher bounds. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the original measurements and I'm going to think about if they were bigger, they could go up to 75.5, 122.5, and 53.5. What are we going to get? Bless you. 494. 494. 808. 808 and? 0.125. Thank you. Okay, so again, We've gone up about 10,000 cubic centimeters, which is the same kind of, a similar kind of margin that we experience over there, okay? 